In the last couple of years, our whole world has lived through a collective adverse experience. Our lives were disrupted in countless ways, some more traumatically than others. And research indicates that children and teenagers are suffering socially, mentally, and emotionally. Teachers are also struggling with new demands and increased stress in what was already an incredibly challenging job. But we know that classrooms can be places where healing occurs. In fact, if we're able to create spaces where emotional and social repair can take place, students are more likely to flourish academically and developmentally. Strong relationships are the basis for learning and creating opportunities for students to practice compassion can nurture bonds between them. With young children, assign a classroom encourager each day. Ask the student to keep an eye out for someone who may be struggling and be ready to offer a kind word or a helping hand. With older students, encourage them to support each other, even if it is just on a math problem. Model what helping looks and sounds like, and even provide sentence starters to give them an entry point. Our traditional approach has a focused period of learning followed by a reward period of fun. While this can sometimes be effective, there are plenty of times where the two do not have to be mutually exclusive. Where can you inject joyful learning experiences into your day? Try socially engaging activities in which your students need to work together to create something, solve something, or discover something. If the content seems dry, consider raising the stakes by creating a game or friendly competition. Physical activity allows us to work through all sorts of emotion, including anxious feelings, frustration, and sadness. It also releases important hormones that buoy our mood. Built-in times for students of all ages to move, whether through play at recess, gross motor work in the classroom, or yoga and stretch breaks between lessons. It gives students a chance to blow off steam and tune into their bodies, which in turn allows their brains to focus on the task at hand. Building with our hands allows us to accomplish something tangible. It taps into our creativity and gives us a sense of pride when we succeed. Whether it is through a project, a craft, or a makerspace, opportunities where students use their hands to tinker, investigate, and learn can be an excellent source of positive emotion. Beyond setting safety expectations, be sure not to be overly prescriptive in your instructions. Autonomy and exploration are key components of the student's healing experience. When big feelings arise, having tools and routines in place to help students work through them will let them get back to learning more swiftly. Help young students name their feelings by having an emotions chart posted. Carve out space in your classroom where an overwhelmed student of any age can take a moment to collect themselves. It may help de-escalate a heated situation. And don't forget to celebrate accomplishments. Taking a moment to properly mark the happy moments together can go a long way toward building community and connection.